All right, so this is what I have so far. And what I want to do now is make it so the arm rotates independent of this one. So that means for the gun part of it, I don't need, let's see, I don't need this section right here. So I'm going to start chopping this up and I'm going to use a different tool because I don't have to have it be so exact now. I can use the polygonal lasso tool. So what I need to do is chop off the arm and I'm going to leave a little stump. And I'm going to leave a lot of cable. And what I hate about this tool is it doesn't let you use the navigator as much. So you got to be very clean and organized with your workflow. All right, so there we go. And why I left a little bit of the cable is, is because when the actual arm rotates, which now we have to kind of paint a little bit in, uh, it makes it look like if I put this part right here, let's say I part, put the fulcrum part right there and then rotate it. So you use the move tool to do that move tool. If I take this pivot point, put the pivot point right here and then rotate it, I can get an idea of what that looks like. And now I can see that that cable just a little too long or maybe not. It all depends how detailed you want to get with it. I would say he's going to have a, like a minimum rotative right here and a maximum rotate right here. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to script this to follow the character and shoot. Does it really matter that it's aiming directly at the character? No, because it's still ray casting at the character. But it gives the illusion um, that something's going on and it makes the player happy. So. so what I could do here is I can rotate this just a little bit if I wanted to. Hit apply. And then I can get rid of some of the overcast here on this hose. Okay, and let's see what that looks like now that I rotate it. Oops. That's a lot better. Good. Just for the ease of stuff, I like to keep things at a 90 degree angle. So I want to keep this kind of like that. go apply it so pseudo 90 degree angle all right so what we have now we have this character he can uh he can move his arm he can move his forearm let's see let's see if we can do that if we grab the gun and this this layer at the same time don't know if we can do that or not we can group them together but that's beside the point i know the arm's going to rotate so now what we have to do is make it so um, he's toggleable on both sides. Uh, a thing that's going to give it away, however, is this meat paw for a hand on the other side. So I want to chop that off just for the, the ease of being able to be a side scroller. Pretty sharp angles here, so I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. Then just step out just a little bit, kind of look at your character. Does it look good? Does it not? Another thing, the base has to go. And if I wanted the feet to move, very simple. You can do that after you do this very simple tutorial. You know, you would chop off the feet and then you would move them independently in Maya. You can break this character, you can break any character up very quickly and easily using all these methods.
Yeah, gotta love that magical wand or that polygon lasso tool. So there we go. Let's try that one more time. This is why I like using the pen tool because it allows you to zoom. There we go. Delete. There we go. All right. So there we are. Now, what I need to do is put them all on separate alpha channels. <laughs> and to do that, let's get rid of all the paths. Let's have channels showing, and let's also have layers showing. So I'm going to drag layer into here. Just like that, so it kind of gives me a better workflow. I got my layers palette. I don't need my history palette. And this is what I'm going to be working with. Layers, channels. And then I'm going to be saving out like a mad beast. Is that transparent? No, it's not. So let's clean that up. Also, while I'm here, and I'll just make this a cleanup video. Here's the clone stamp tool. I don't like this big damage thing on him. I don't know what it is about it, but it's bugging me. So let me do a sample all layers. And let me also take and make it a softer brush and use the alt to go in here and start painting some of this stuff out. And there's obviously a selection out there because it won't let me do anything. There we go. So I just want to paint some of this back a little bit. To this harsh edge. Get rid of any stray pixels. They show up like none other. I could trim some of this black off. Alright, so this is going to be a cleanup video and now we move on to producing alphas.